climate change. It's on everyone's minds these days, and it's depressing to think about. From forest fires burning across the planet to our thawing Arctic and the continuing increase in air pollution levels, it's hard to stay positive about the future of our planet. But I have good news. There are actually a ton of amazing scientists using remote sensing technology to study and address climate change. How do I know? Well, I talked to them, of course. My name is Melissa Rojas Downey. I am a biosystems engineer. I'm Lenny Alencar. My expertise is fire modeling. My name is Nikki Tooley, and what I'm looking at is something called wicked water problems. My name is Chidema Umogo Madoka. My research interest is on vegetation monitoring and how they respond to climate change. This season, we'll be traveling from the heart of the Arizona desert through the Amazon rainforest to the busy streets of Udaipur and beyond to give you the latest on how scientists are tackling climate change and bringing hope for a planet's future. People really have an awareness of climate change in the Arctic. Some communities in Costa Rica were unprepared to deal with flooding and droughts. It's very important to help our country in these areas. Increasing health and environmental and climatic issues all over the country has actually triggered me to focus on this area of air pollution. I started thinking about mental health and intersection with urbanization and how do we use artificial intelligence as a tool to help us better understand this issue. Space for Innovation works with the Indigenous Alliance to harness the wisdom of the crowd to empower both indigenous and underrepresented communities to define and solve their most pressing problems. Peppered into our conversations, we'll tackle issues of representation in the STEM field. We have a lot of amazing work done by women in Africa, but most don't see the light of the day. I guess ultimately, admiration and love that I have for my identity didn't come easy. It's definitely not easy to bring up indigenous ways of knowing in a, in a Western setting, especially in academia. One can spend a lot of energy on trying to get into a position where you make the decisions. And after trying that for a long time, I just decided to build my own house, which doesn't have a class ceiling. We talk about the challenges scientists have faced in their careers in their science. For many of us here in Costa Rica, it's like a big dream, leaving your country to study outside because for us, it's very difficult to get scholarship, but I decided to fight for it. In Australia, fires are getting more severe and frequent. And we realized that there was a lack of availability to detect fires when they are small. And we discussed the expanding role scientists might need to play in climate conversations going forward. I'm a scientist, but I'm also an activist. And in Brazil, we do need political will. We need to ensure that the research and the solution reflects the needs of the community. And for this to happen, participants really should be at the heart of the co-design process. And of course, we tie it all into geoscience and remote sensing. If you have any problem in your mind, this is the best science to explore a more accurate and efficient way of getting out the solutions. So stay tuned for the incredible upcoming episodes we have in store for you this season on Down to Earth, a podcast by geoscientists for geoscientists. Follow along and listen for free on Spotify and Apple Podcasts.